Hello there. And welcome to Civ 6. Last time we were playing as the Mayan Empire. And let's just continue with that. You know, Wednesdays are usually just kind of like a wild card day, but I, I'm i having a bit of a feeling of maybe alternating. So like one week I'll do Civ, and then one week I'll do something else, probably Duel Links, because I've also been in like a big Duel Links like vibe lately so yeah expect stuff but for the most part like yeah Civ is probably the beginnings you have shown remarkable growth leave your bronze for iron and rule with horse and sword the sky above begins to reveal its secrets a collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. Lady Six Sky, great warrior mother of Dos Pelas and Wat Kabnal, lead your people into a new dynasty. Let your reach grow long so you may conquer your enemies near and far. The gods will guide you and you will in turn guide your loyal citizens to victory. Yeah, Siv is probably here to stay, at least for quite a while. And yeah. Now we are playing as Mayan Empire, Lady Six Sky, and basically her bonuses is like you you want to have all your cities close to the capital. So like if they're within six tiles you get a bunch of extra bonuses and stuff. Which is great, although if I remember correctly, like, our starting location isn't exactly the best in the world. There's not too much stuff close by to us, although there's a few decent things. Uh, and yeah. And then... Yeah, stuff about farms... We get a basic unit, and we get our uh, special district, the science district. God Civ loves to take such a long time to live. But yeah, how's everyone doing? I've been in a big, like, strategy game type of mood lately, apparently, because... Recently, as of, I want to say last weekend, recently, I started a new playthrough of CK3 because I've just been feeling like I've been wanting to get back into it. And there's been a lot of changes for it. I'm playing as a vassal in the Avocid Empire at the like 876 start. The earliest a the earliest year start anyway. Uh, yeah, I've been playing as a vassal in the Obviously Empire, and it's been going well. There's been shenanigans as always in Civ. There's always shenanigans. I have like my current character has eleven daughters, three wives. Currently zero sons, and like the my current heir is my stepbrother, who I despise. Ah, I got me some grape tea for tonight's drink. So, yeah, here's our empire. Now, if you remember from last time, we're currently at war with the Zulu because they... 
Well, I can only assume what happened is I settled here because I wanted this natural wonder. And they wanted to settle here. And they were pissed at me for settling here. So they went to war with me to burn this place down. I rebuilt it. Funnily enough, it's called Chichen Itza, which is an actual world wonder you can construct in this game. So that's kind of funny. But yeah, uh, this is what we've got. We also settled this city fairly recently. There's a few de decent things going on around here. No luxury resources. There is actually topaz, uh, am amber. There is actually amber a few squares away. And I do want to see what's going on down south here, because remember, any city settled within six tiles gets a bonus. Alright, uh, yeah, Chichen Itza needs more housing, and as always, we end the turn. Uh, but yeah, so right now we're at war with the Congo, because they are dicks. Mexico City is at least on our side now. Which gives them something to worry about. No, 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 no. You're not getting peace yet. I... I want more. I want a more satisfactory victory because... You burned down my city. Sure, I eventually got it back, but like... You burned down my city. I want to make you feel pain uh let's see you we get to upgrade awesome i'm gonna volley and as for you let's get you a little bit closer now we need to, we do need to be careful because i'm not entirely sure what of everything is going on around here but there is some stuff to worry about. They do have some powerful forces. Okay, nothing for us to build imminently. So I'm gonna just have you chill there. Yeah, we're building walls over here because we learned our lesson from last time they are gonna want to try to come after us so we want to build walls we've got a lot of sugar in the area which is nice And it's our turn again. Okay, so let's... Ooh, nice. Awesome. Hmm. Let's see, do we go for the archer? Yeah, I think we go for the archers. Even though technically the archers aren't theirs, those archers are gonna disappear after a certain number of turns. They can still damage us from range, and I don't like that. As for you, I'm just gonna have you chill inside the city for now. We'll see where we expand to, same with you. End the turn. game feels a little quiet to me, but that also might just be my desktop audio. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, it is definitely desktop, desktop audio. Also, we met Korea. Uh, they are currently friendly with us, and I don't... I don't really want to make too many enemies, like... 
I tend to like to play Civ in a more peaceful way. It's just their fault for not wanting to be peaceful. So, let's see. What shall we do? I want We do want to be careful. Uh-huh, they do indeed have a hero. That's a bit scary. You know what? No, no, no. Let's just have you move back here. Instead, I'm gonna move towards their cap. Sadly though, we can't really burn down the capital, and I also don't really want to, like, take anything either. Though they do have the pyramids, so I guess that could give us the pyramids. Again, they want peace. I'm still not quite ready for that. Although that was a little bit of a better offer. You're just Preslov. Nothing for me to worry about, I don't think. I don't think we're at war with you, are we? Just to double check. Okay, we're at war with Taruga. Kreslov, we're fine with. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's. Let's go ahead and attack you. Let me get you over here. Nothing for us to do yet. here. Same deal here. Actually, I do kind of wonder where are we currently expanding to? There. Why are we expanding there? I have no idea. But do nothing production wise, though. Uh, we have a shrine now. Can we purchase the shrine? We could. That would save us eight turns. I'm gonna do it. And now... Let's see here. Hanging Gardens... Places Oracle, however. Oracle. Yeah, let's try and build it. I don't know if we'll actually get it, but we'll try. Uh oh. Horseman, and that actually gets us an envoy for Nazca. And a arrow point. Okay, so Johannesburg, they are a new city state that is now on the side of the Cong 
Uh, yeah, the Congo. Um, cool. Wait, hang on. Okay, yeah, we have no envoys. Uh, yep. So they want us to train a catapult. That will happen soon. But for now, send you up here. You can do nothing for me right now. Same with you. Now, what to do here? Let's send you right here. And I'm a little bit more worried about their actual units than their city. Because their city doesn't even have walls yet. Might as well just poke at them. Make them know that we're here though. Is there anything for us to build here? What's on Panada? Oh, that's on. That's interesting. What about an encampment? Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't mind an encampment just to... It's gonna take a little while to build, but that'll at least give us a little bit more edge when producing troops against this war. What the actual fuck? What do you mean they took out my unit in a single hit. Let's see... Yeah, I don't like that at all. We might lose two units. My horsemen are doing all right, though. And again, nothing much for you to do, so just do nothing. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Fuck. How tough are they? You know what? I'll take it. I don't think we'll be able to really hurt them all that much and they did just take out two of my units and they're finally offering a better peace deal than they have been in the past so i'll take it i guess damn did it cost me a lot of resources to do that war that didn't really wasn't very satisfying well let's just hope that we don't actually have to worry about war with them ever again. It's probably not going to be the case, but we can hope. So 
What's the growth looking like here? Okay, 16 turns until we get that. That's gonna do it away. You do nothing. Yeah, here we get a few turns of just nothing. Well, they're friendly with me, are they? Why is the Congo friendly with me? We were literally at war just now, like at each other's throats, ready to just Normal kill it. people them. believe that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Engineers believe that if it ain't broke, it doesn't have enough features yet. Yeah, right. Just have you chill and just have you chill. Let's take a look at these great profits again. Ooh. Yeah, two people are very close to getting, although they didn't get one. How are you looking on religions? Uh, there's still two religions left. Okay, sailing we don't particularly need. Currency, however, that would be good. Do a bit of exploration in this direction. Just kind of see what's over here because keep in mind if we wanted to settle this would be a good place to settle. We are about to enter a dark age. I think we just have to accept that fact. We just aren't really accomplishing all that much. line. So basically completely useless. Like let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll have you move one space over here. There might be something worth that direction. If nothing else, it gives us more insurance to get this entire natural wonder into our territory. There is also fish here. So, that's another thing. Finally got walls. Took it long enough. Here. And it's really just mostly just fish, isn't it? Not a whole lot, but then again, I think we kind of do just need what we can. As for you. Let's give you a granary because you are low on housing and just growth in general.
Let's just see what's up here for now. Ooh, marble. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So if we did settle here, in theory, we could maybe get this marble, assuming Taruga doesn't expand in that direction. I don't think it's too likely that they won't, but it's worth a shot. You need housing, you need amenities. Hello, Legal, and thank you! Thank you for stopping by. It's good to see you. Ooh, Barbarians. Where did those Barbarians? Right up there near Mexico City. Hmm. Well, let's have our horsemen head in that direction. Ah, oh, you're very sweet. These easy turns are nice, but they're also kind of boring. Like, it's nice to just click a button and that's it, that's our turn. Our entire turn is done, but... Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. The poets Still. have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. Do we want to change policies? I am going to swap this over, just for now. And... I am trying to get that great profit, so we'll throw that in too. Yeah, this builder can just kind of still chill. Not much to do. You... I do want to have you head in that direction. Also though, also let's think about this. Thank you, legal. We've also got one, two, three, four, five, six. So around here, if we theoretically could, that would be a great spot for us to get a sit. Yeah. Yeah, we need to start getting more settlers because there's a few good spots for cities. We don't really care about celestial navigation yet. Mathematics, however. Yeah, let's go for mathematics. And as for you, let's get games and recreation. And we do get an envoy. Who do we send it to? We could get Nazca on side. What does that give us? There's a new improvement. That'd be nice. Kabul. 
units gain double experience. That's nice, but honestly, I don't really care about that. We're never going to turn Taruga. Johannesburg, maybe, though. Oh, definitely Johannesburg. What about Preslav? Yeah, let's get some people towards Johannesburg. Okay. our horseman by the way just kind of trying to keep track of him he's just chilling over here military train yep happy you doing enough for now same with you Now there's a lot of things we could do. I love you too, Legal. I'm in the mood for pleasing city-states, so what can we do? Especially if we want- okay, we can't do anything for Johannesburg, we've already done that, but Mexico City, they want a great merchant. Not much we can do about that, but we could try to build a market district. Kabul wants a catapult. And they want Eureka for mathematics. That requires three different specialty districts. That's going to take a while. So what that tells me is we want a commercial hub. I've got a lot of plus twos. Thank you for stopping by, Legal. Have a good day. Let's slap down a commercial district right here. Seems like, ah, uh, Kabul's actually dealing with this encampment. Alright, nothing for you to do. Nothing for you to do. And we can get... A great profit, finally. We got a great profit. Now let's found ourselves a religion. Next turn. I do wonder though, when does the next era end? Because if we could hold off on founding our religion until then, that might be better. Possibly.
two turns until the classical era. I think we can wait. I don't know for sure if founding a religion gives us immediate error score, but in case it does, I do want to hold off. Now, let's see. We are going to want to be building some settlers soon, so let's get colonization in. era ends, we will enter a dark age. That is fine. We'll live with it. Okay, so as for you, Chichen Itza, let's have you work on a settler. Surprisingly, no one bothered to clear that encampment. Like, if no one wants to, I wouldn't mind doing it. And into the medieval era, in a dark age. Nothing for you to build here. You can found us a religion. Nothing for you to build. You can head over here and clear out that encampment next. Johannesburg wants an inspiration for recorded history. What does that mean? Uh, build two campuses. That's theoretically possible, but probably won't happen for a while. Uh, Taruga wants a Eureka for construction. Build a water mill. not gonna happen and they want celestial navigation Eureka celestial improved QC resources not impossible but not likely to happen anytime soon okay so we're in a dark era the Congo's in a normal age Korea is in a golden age. Now, what are we gonna get? Free inquiry, uh, bonus re bonus for re Eureka's, and bonus for building science stuff. That's actually kind of what we're trying to do. Although, Exodus of the ev Evangelists, Because we do now have a religion, and we are going to be trying to convert people to our religion. So that's probably what we want to do. Now, what is our religion exactly going to be? We could just go off of custom religions, which probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Zor Zoroastrianism... 
Yeah, none of these really seem to fit what the Mayans would do, so I'm good. Well, like, okay, Zoroastrianism is something I know very, very little about. The symbol looks like it could go that way, but... Okay, I'm gonna go with Zoroastrianism. It's probably incorrect, but I'm gonna do it. Now, what is our belief? Uh, so we get our Divine Spark. Our belief, let's see, Zen Meditation. That's bonus amenities for two specialty districts. Jesuit Education made purchase campus and theater square district buildings with faith. That seems really useful. Religious Community International Trade provides bonus gold to cities with holy sites. Work ethic. Holy site districts faith adjacency provides production as well. And reliquaries, relics and heroes have triple yield for faith and tourism. So it's definitely either Jesuit education or work ethic. Hmm. So the pros of Jesuit education. I find in the late game I tend to have a lot of faith that I just don't have anything to do with. So that might be good, however since we do actually have a religion of our own, we might also want to spend most of that on like buying people to convert other people. But if we go for work ethic, how many faith districts are we act how many holy sites are we actually gonna be building? Probably not that many. So I'm gonna go with Jesuit education. And then See, Gudwara can get us faith, food, and housing. Stupa gives us amenities. Pagodas give us diplomatic favor points. Uh, religious unity plus one envoy at each city state when it first adopts this religion. Sacred places. Lay Ministries... Papal Primacy... Scriptures... Religious Colonization... Holy Order... Holy Waters... Crusade... Itinerant Preachers... Defenders of the Faith, Missionary Zeal, Monastic Isolation, Pilgrimage, Stewardship, Stewardship is actually pretty good, so it's Tithe, World Church, Cross-cultural dialogue, mosques, and Darimur. I'm gonna go with Gudawara. And there we go. So yes, we do get free era score just for founding a religion. That gives us a bunch of other stuff, and there we go. now that we've founded that religion, I think we're going to be wanting to start to convert people.
Okay, World Congress time. Begin voting. Bonus production towards buildings in this district. Uh, I'm gonna say... Let's just say city center, because I feel like that's the one that's most prevalent to me. Uh, trade policy. Well, let's just choose ourselves, but I'm not going to back too much behind that. Yeah, I'm not going to waste any of my diplomatic favor on this boat. Okay, uh, yep, bonus production towards city center buildings, and an unmet player gets the extra stuff. Gotcha. Appease the gods. Are there even any volcanoes nearby? I don't even think there are. So we can't even participate even if we wanted to, which we don't. Uh, as for you... Yep, disperse the clan. Ooh, that boosted mathematics. And that gives us an envoy for Preslav. And we got diplomatic victory points as well. Awesome. So, yep, you do nothing. Where's our expansion going to, by the way? Right there, of course it is. Yeah, so have you do nothing. And that's it. Job done. Someone has built the Great Library. I don't even think that's an option for us yet. Well, that's because we haven't built any science districts, you doofus. what's down here because one two three four five six so yeah like what is around here exactly is there anywhere we're settling in the tundra beginning my studies, I would follow the advice of Plato and start with mathematics. Nice. And nothing for you to do. It's housing, it's amenities. I will, however, promote you first. So what do we say? Bonus for anti-cav.
Uh, yeah, let's give you bonus brand I can. That's for over here. Uh, oh yes, actually we do want sailing. So we can eventually get buttresses and build a dam. So let's do that. again. Let me send you two. One, two, five. Yeah, just this general direction. Nothing much for the builder to do. Where are we expanding to now? Right there. Yeah, nothing for you to do there. You can just chill. Let's build a market, and that does remind me, because I always, always forget this, let's build a missionary. Like seriously, I always forget when you found the religion, to start spending that faith on actually, like, Converting cities. It's not a must. Like, you don't have to do it, but. People who cannot find time for recreation are sooner or later to find time for illness. Alright. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we've also got Dark Age stuff. So, start in Inquisition with one Apostle charge. Uh, domestic roots provides a uh, bonus. Oh yeah, but can't buy or trade settlers. That's not what I want. Bonus seventy-five percent science and all holy sites, but no. Yeah, don't care about that. And don't really need that either. I think we're fine as we are. Yeah, Insulae might be good, but nah. Where's Chichen? It's expanding to now. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. Start expanding towards that sugar. Okay, now let's get converting, shall we? First, let's convert our own cities. <laughs> and what civic do we want? Theology could be interesting. So could defensive tactics. Let's 
go for theology. It is not that life ashore is distasteful to me, but life at sea is better. What the fuck happened? A solar flare. Okay. That I don't think affects me at all. Yeah, places need housing. Worry about that eventually. Building, we'll be able to get buttresses. All right, missionary, spread our religion. You want to trade? That's interesting. You want my diplomatic favor, and you're gonna give me iron for it. You also want open borders. Um, hmm. I don't like the implication of what you might be doing with my diplomatic favor, but. Sure, I'll take that deal. Because we currently don't have iron. We're very close to some iron, but we don't actually have any. Metropolitan. Can that builder do nothing. Keep spreading our religion. Hopefully, soon we'll convert. Tarin Nidri, Hanel Hange Nagalte, Tangshinen, Tangel Pago is Mida. What does that mean? What's your problem with me? Is it the fact that I'm so undeveloped? Because you're not wrong, but I am still insulted. Got our conversion. Now, can we get us another one? No, we're gonna have to wait a little bit before we do that. Ooh, we've got more amber. Okay, this isn't a terrible place to settle. They don't like the fact we don't have a big army. Well, the Congo kind of made sure of that.
And there is our settler. So, okay, we can settle here. Unfortunately, it's gonna cost a- oh, by the way, just double check. Okay, yeah, there is still that. Okay, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can settle here. It will cost us the cattle, but I think it'll be worth it. And we got the Void Singer. In Hong Kong. They want us to convert them. That might be a while. As for over here, remind me again what city states want. Train a catapult, recruit great merchant. Inspire recorded history. That's going to require campus districts, so we could do that. Eureka for construction. That's not likely to happen. Celestial navigation might happen. And conversion. So, yeah, let's have us build an observatory. What the fuck do you mean we don't get anything from it? What does it need? Uh, plantations, districts, Great Barrier Reef, Government Plaza, Plantation and farm. Okay, we don't have a lot of great places to put that. In which case, maybe we plonk down a governor plaza or an aqueduct. Yeah, let's put down a government plaza right here, I think. Direction, make sure there's nothing over here that I care for. Then the monarch Kaketi Ketidien Mukabula Kinzambi Ponso Kondo Lumungu. I'll get to you, buddy. I'm just very slowly accumulating points to be able to convert people. Just chill out, wait your turn. Man suffers only because he takes seriously what the gods made for fun. 
Hello, Evelyn. Thank you for dropping by. Yeah, we're just having a chill Civ 6 stream. What Civ are you playing? We are playing as Maya, the Mayan civilization. Uh, let's see, we got scriptures, temples, yeah. Uh, is there anything I care to swap out? No, I think we still just want to keep all those. We're only three turns away from the oracle. Ah, you're playing as Germany, nice. Yeah, I'm probably missing a ton of achievements from this game. There we go, okay, so we can get another missionary. Let's get a missionary. Okay, the storm is getting a little concerningly close. Ooh, and we can get a new trade route as well. Where would we set up said trade route? So we've got one... Hang on, is there a way to see all my trade routes? Yes, there is. So currently we're trading with them Mexico City. Hmm. So if we put one in Chichen Itza, that could get us some trade. That could get us some roads with the Congo in case they decide to cause trouble for us again. Ooh, what is that? Hanging gardens. Uh, I don't really care. Hmm. Yeah, let's buy ourselves a trader. Up here. And get some defensive tactics going. What do we want to build in our... Can we get anything good from the observatory yet? So we got... Ooh, there's a plus three. Huh. Yeah, let's get rid of these woods to build ourselves an observatory. And we have an envoy. Isn't Hong Kong pretty good? Uh, it's decent. Go to Johannesburg. Johannesburg is a lot better. I'm gonna send one to Johannesburg. Well, fuck you too, Congo. I really don't care. You burn down my city, I'm gonna make your life a living hell. Seriously, the Congo is so hard to please. Okay, this builder can just chill. Now, where do we want to trade? Yeah, I'm gonna get a trade route up here, I think. Or maybe just right here. Yeah, let's get a trade route right here. And 
just have you chill. Okay, so new missionary. We could send you to the Congo. Where is... There's Hong Kong. I don't even know if we know how to get there. So instead, what I'm gonna do is just send you over to the Congo, because that'll make them happy. Yeah, so Evelyn, you kind of miss this, but basically, uh, in my first stream of this run, I settled right here because I found this natural wonder. And then the Congo had a settler that was heading down in this general direction. Presumably they wanted to settle right where I settled. And so they immediately declared war on me and burned down my city. I did build a new settler and rebuilt the city. And yeah, ever since then I've kind of had a bit of a... I, I'm not very happy with the Congo. Not happy with them at all. You just said I had a puny military. Make up your mind. No! Fuck you! We were like two turns away. We were two turns away from the Oracle. Fuck you, whoever stole it. Uh... Well... What can we build instead? We could... How far along do you think they are with the hanging gardens, huh? They seem pretty close to done. But do you think that's three turns away from being done? Just out of spite. Well, hang on. Yeah, just out of spite. I'm gonna just try it. Let's hope in three turns we can get the hanging gardens and fuck over the Congo. Uh, as for here. Here, yeah, our builder is not gonna do much. Builder is not gonna do much. Yeah, just pass a turn. Alright, horseman. Actually, I think now we're going to have our horsemen start looking west to see if we can find our way over to Hong Kong. Because they're going to want us to eventually convert them. Well, he built the hanging gardens. God damn it. I, I'm not allowed to have any any world wonders at all. What difficulty am I playing on again? Is this this Prince? I think this might just be Prince difficulty. We've just had a shitty start. 
I'm gonna blame everything on anything but me. Everything's the Congo's fault. Everything is the Congo's fault. If you hit escape, it'll show you at the bottom of the Really? I had no idea that was a thing. Well, what are we gonna build now, I guess? We could build it. We do need an extra district. What? Can we build an observatory yet? We cannot. We can get a plus one observatory. That's like the worst observatory ever. Uh, instead, we could do more housing. How about an aqueduct? Would be terrible to put one there. We're also kind of hurting for amenities, so an entertainment complex wouldn't be terrible. Maybe plonk one right down here where we were going to build the hanging gardens. There's just so many options. Uh, let's go for. Remind me what this gets bonuses for um every two adjacent districts plus one for every adjacent government plaza plus two for whatever that is plus two for adjacent plantations Plus one for every two farms. Matching resource class tile. So this is bonus, this is bonus, so that's a plus one. Hmm. Ooh, what about a preserve? Because we are in need of... Yeah, like, we could build aqueduct, but we could also build preserve. What does our... Appeal look like? So there's a few appeal Breeze around here. That's just an appeal to. That's an appeal for. I'm not gonna mess with the preserve, I'm just gonna build an aqueduct. declared war on Mapuche, which means Mapuche is in the game. Who's Mapuche again? Is they- are they the Incas? Alright, we got military engineering Eureka, is the gods is done. Okay, where are we gonna send this traitor to? Send one down here just to get a road in that direction. And yeah, our horsemen, we're gonna send you on a journey west. Alright, 
we got ourselves a new city. Nothing much for you to do. You... Can I build water mills yet? I guess we're gonna find out. As for you... Let's see, observatory... Still got the plus one. Hmm... Or is not gonna get us much. Yeah, what about So here's what I'm thinking. Because it's it gets adjacency to What's the best place to put down the observer? Here we've got bonus, strategic, and luxury. That's a district. Here we get bonus and bonus. Yeah, I know bonuses aren't as important as luxuries, but well, I'm mostly... I'm mostly just trying to strategize where the best place is to build up to eventually building our observatory. Because when you're playing as the Mayan Empire, the campus district gets replaced with the observatory, which is very picky about where you put it as to what bonuses it'll get. It gets bonus it gets bonuses for every uh yeah plus two science for each adjacent matching resource class tile. So if I have two bonus resources next to each other like I or like near each other like I've got rice and maize then right here, I would get a plus two. But... Ooh, actually. This would be good. We've got horses. Iron. Those are both strategic. And then we've also got our one... Uh... Holy site, that's a district. If we plumb if we put down another district like right here. No wait, that wouldn't work at all. Never mind, I'm dumb. I'm bad at geometry. Here's a bonus resource. Hmm. 
I'm also assuming that the adjacency is retroactive. Like if I build uh, an observatory right now, that gets zero bonus. But then later I build like other districts and other whatnot around it. I'm assuming that gets added retroactively. That would make sense to me, if that's the case. Hmm. Because we're going to... Actually, we're not necessarily going to eventually get that iron. Preslav might get that, so let's ensure that we... That doesn't happen. Now... What do you mean, no bonus? Each adjacent matching resource class tile. We got two bonus resource classes that would be adjacent to it. So why is it not showing me a bonus? I also just realized we could build a farm right here. And that would give it another bonus. I'm just gonna test that real quick. Build the farm. Yes, okay. It's still not showing me the bonus that I assume I should be getting from the adjacent strategic resources, but maybe it's just because it's not yet improved? Anyway, that took a lot of thinking. I just wanted to be absolutely sure I was doing this the right way. As for over here... We're not in any immediate danger, but I would like a wall. And as for you, spread our religion. And maybe the Congo will finally be happy with me. Crippling blizzard. Hope that doesn't move north. There's nothing for you to do right now imminently over here. So I'm gonna have you do... Just move over here and improve this iron. Yeti tonda pova za tumwa yenganga zenu. Mamengi tu eti longu kamusalu kieno kiambote. There we go. The Congo is finally happy with me. Okay. Uh, we don't get the water mill yet. When does that happen? Lumber mill gets construction. I 
at some point there like lumber mills adjacent to rivers become incredibly good but I can't remember which technology that is is that industrialization no I don't think it's that late in the game Actually, not sure. Yeah, who knows. Either way, uh, you currently can't do anything. It's gonna be quite a few turns until we expand in that direction, so I'm just gonna have you sit and chill. And now we've got the observatory. There is nothing but a plank between a sailor and eternity. Alright, how many turns? Isn't this supposed to tell me how many turns until Chichen Itza converts? Why is it not telling me? Like, it tells me for literally every other city, just not that one. Well, either way, let's spread a little bit more in the Congo. Yeah, that blizzard's kind of sucking. Hasn't damage anything of mine I don't think oh yes it has it's damaged the aqueduct fuck Since that's what we were working towards so that we can get a dam and as for you let's build a library or an aqueduct now yeah, let's build a library Possibility lies in the defense, the possibility of victory in the attack. Mm -hmm.
We are still gonna want one more settler soon. But I think for now... Actually, we're not building any wonders right now anyway, so let's just do that. And that all looks good to me. That storm was quite destructive. Actually, you know what you can do? Go and do some repairs. Let's get some military training. And as for you... Ah, uh, Warlord's Throne. We're not really playing that aggressive, so don't care. Plus two amenities and plus four housing in cities with governors. Ooh. Audience chamber seems really good. Yeah, let's get an audience chamber. And it's for over here. You know what? I think it's time for us to join one of the societies. We haven't found two of them yet. But I think Owls of Minerva is the one that I want. slot too. Um, I'm going to take the holy side adjacency just because we are kind of lacking in faith right now. And they don't like me joining the owls. However, The Congo does. Nothing for us to do this turn. We're actually ten points away from a gold, uh, heroic gauge. Another turn of nothing.
If it's natural to kill, how come men have to go into training to learn how? Good point. Right. I don't think we need to change anything yet. And yeah, let's just get recorded history. Repair the aqueduct, thank you. Johannesburg, how would you like to be? Ooh, we discovered the Monkey King. And Hong Kong. I think I do want you on side, yes. Well, Taruga would be really nice to have. But I don't think we'd be likely to. Accept your delegation. You know what? If the Congo's feeling friendly, I think I'm willing to forgive and forget. Sure, they may have burned down my city a long time ago, but that's in the past. And I really wouldn't mind having allies. Let's build a temple. session of the World Congress. Interesting. And as for you... Let's get another settler. Because there is a bit of a place down here I'd like to settle, and maybe... Over here as well. Yeah, there's like two main places I'd like to settle. Apparently whatever this session was didn't have anything to do with me. Ah, military emergency against them. Interesting. Alright, let's get you over here. 
to improve that sugar. And... Ooh, yes. That got us a scout. Awesome. Berry Mountain is in this region. And we discovered Antarctica. <sighs> I would really like Machu Picchu, to be honest. a standard adjacency bonus to commercial hub theater square in industrial zones in all cities. Oh yeah. We want Machu Picchu. Not just because we're the mines. No. Machu Picchu is Inca? Machu Picchu is Inca. I'm thinking of... That's the one. Chichen Itza is the one that's... Yeah. My bad. Finally found Korea. Ooh, and we've met these people. So they want me to make a harbor, huh? Ooh, buy a missionary with faith. Don't mind if I do. I'm thinking I'm going to be wrapping up here in a couple turns. I'm going to go until turn 150, and then I'm going to end the stream there. Because it's late. I need to get to bed. I have work tomorrow. And... It's possible I'll have a stream with Raylene in the morning. Uh... I... Did I did hear she had to go to the ER today for some stomach problems. I'm hoping that she'll be fine to stream tomorrow. If not, I won't be on. If so, then I will. That's just the way it is. Um, but yeah. If things do go like they normally do. 
then I will be on Raylene's stream for a couple hours for some Skyrim. So if you're not already following, There's her channel link right there. Uh, as for me, other than that, on Friday, Friday Nights is finally back. I'll be on Ian's channel playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. So look forward to that. And yeah. Uh, is there anything else I have to say in the outro? Um, I've got right here some links. Right here are my links I've lived through to my some card. Terrible things in my life, some of which actually happened. Yeah, so those are my links right there in my card. Uh,. Or which, okay, hang on, I'm gonna swap this out for, I think you. Yeah, that's where you can find a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, you can find me on Twitter, where I post a lot of things. You can find me on... Ich bin Kaiser Friedrich und herrsche über deutsche und welsche Lande, über Burgund und manche mehr. Ich weiß wohl, dass auch ihr Kund geherrschen mit rechter Gewalt. And we met Germany. So yeah, uh... That's where you can... Yeah, Twitter's where you can find me. For a lot of stuff if and then you can also find my youtube channel where i upload my vods but i also have exclusive series that you will not find on twitch like for example uh i am currently doing a dark souls 3 playthrough with one of my partners um I'm mostly just playing, she's mostly just watching and giving any advice if needed, but she's there willing to hop in if need be. Uh, and yeah, it's my first ever playthrough of the game. I've for a long time had a bit of contempt towards the Souls uh, series, like the Souls franchise, so... Maybe this will be a good opportunity for me to change how I feel about that. Anyway, that right there is turn 50, so let's save the game. But yeah, uh, Dark Souls 3 series over on YouTube. Also, very likely, possibly, very soon, another YouTube exclusive series will be coming there as well. So, two YouTube exclusive series that you can only find on YouTube and nowhere else. Uh, so, go and sub to me there if you want to see, see that stuff. Um, if you want to support me financially, you can always sub on Twitch, which gives you access to a bunch of all my cool emotes. And on stream elements, I have a link down below in the panels and also in my card uh, where you can leave a direct tip. And that way money doesn't go to Twitch, it goes directly to me. So yeah, lots of different ways you can support me if you want. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. I'm going to find someone to raid, and whoever we do end up raiding, right here in chat, is our raid message. Haru hugs, and if you're sub to me, you can have access to that cute little heart emote. Alright, let's see who is currently live. Probably the usual people, right?
Yeah, let's see. I think we're gonna raid Chaz, who is playing Minecraft. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for coming. Remember the raid message. Remember to follow me in all those places. And... I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.